apart from the dinosaurs, probably the most famous extinct animal is the dodo. Uh, the dodo was last seen uh, in 1662 uh, on the island of Mauritius. It was very plentiful there until Dutch settlers arrived, uh, bringing with them cats and rats. Uh, and uh, their eggs were eaten, these poor birds. Uh, they were flightless, they were slow. Uh, frankly, uh, they were no match uh, for uh, the new arrivals. And uh, they went extinct, 1662. Well, now, apparently, a company called uh, Colossal Biosciences, they have DNA samples taken from the last birds uh, that uh, and they plan Jurassic Park style to bring it back to life to uh, make uh, the dodo de to de-extinct the dodo so that expression dead as a dodo will be rendered redundant if that happens uh, but let's find out a little bit about uh, the flightless dodo bird uh, and these plans to revive it uh, by talking to Dr Neil J Gosling he's associate professor of evolution and paleobiology in the school School of Biological Science at Southampton University. My God, that's a long job title. Uh, welcome aboard, Dr. Neil. Thank you for joining us. Nice to meet you. Hello there. Thank uh, you. Uh, Thank you. Well, there's a, there's a dodo. Fantastic. Uh, well, first of all, how? Tell us how it went extinct. Uh, explain okay. its demise. Okay. So people, uh, we 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 had this impression that it was slow and stupid, and it almost deserved to go extinct, and that the Dutch arrived and they ate it like it was going out of fashion, uh, which it very soon did. Um, however, that's not entirely true. There are several reports that, yeah, it was all right. You could probably eat some of the breast meat as long as you cooked it very well, and because it was a bit tough and not very palatable. The rest of it was a bit greasy and disgusting. But unfortunately, the thing that came with the Dutch sailors were cats, rats, pigs, goats, mm -hmm. and the rats and the uh, pigs ate the eggs, the rats ate the, uh, the chicks, the cats ate the chicks, the goats just stamped over the nests and everything. And before you knew it, it was, uh, it was destroyed. And uh, if you haven't got any chicks very soon thereafter, you haven't got any adults. And so um, by 1660, they were found, discovered Mauritius was sort of uh, first... Uh, visited by the Dutch in the late 1590s. By 1662, they were gone. Um, yeah, so, 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 very, so sw humanity, with its uh, accompanying animals, uh, swiftly put pay to the poor dodo. Uh, how, pl how plentiful were dodos before their sad demise? That's, that's a very good question. Um, there are reports of them being caught in their hundreds in, in single single days. Um, there, were, there were thousands of them at any one time. Um, but very quickly, if you remove it, 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 the Mauritius is a small island. It couldn't support a huge population. But even so, if you start, if you remove the the juveniles very quickly, you've you've got no adults, and and that's that's that. Um, the yeah, sorry, sorry yes. I, I was just I, I always thought I've always been quite obsessed with dodos. I don't know why, but I always thought the saddest thing in the world would be to have witnessed the death of the very last dodo, the end of a well, species. Really tragic. This is it. I, 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 we, we're not sure. I mean, 1662 is the last sighting of one. After that, um, I mean, as well, Mauritius now, um, one of the things that did for them was the deforestation and bringing in um, domesticated farm animals. Once you start to remove their habitat, then then they're gone. There's nothing for them to swipe. But in 1662, a lot of Mauritius was still um, quite densely forested, and so we, we probably didn't witness the last one, but certainly by the 1700s, they, they were gone. Um, and and so, were, were they, 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 they... I mean, this is a life-size one next to you? They were pretty, oh, yes. pretty big birds then, yeah? Uh, yeah, I mean, weigh, weighing somewhere in the region of, of 25 uh, kilos. I mean, they, they were they were big birds. Mm. Um, not as big as the solitaire, which is from Rodrigues, and also another flightless pigeon, the closest relative, um, also extinct. Um, but mm. uh, which got to be... A, the males were 28 kilos, which is which is massive. How, um, how, how, how tall would a dodo be, then? Um, it would probably have stood somewhere in the order of 75 centimetres, something like that. Okay. Okay. Pretty big birds then. Uh, yeah, yeah, very much so. Uh, as I say, very sad that they've gone. But I, I, I'm, uh, I feel personally dubious about the idea of bringing them back. What, what do you think about this sort of Jurassic Park <laughs> style thing? Take their DNA, recreate it. I mean, I gather it's scientifically possible, but uh, why? Why? Why would you do that? Okay. 
so that okay so there's two things here number one i don't think the colossal biosciences are not claiming to bring back the dodo what they're going to do is the same with the mammoth they're not going to bring back the mammoth the initial issue um, that, that with, with, with the uh, mammoth, the closest relative to the mammoth that's still alive is the Indian elephant. And so they are hoping to sort of introduce mm. mammoth genes to the Indian elephant and make a mammoth mammothified Indian elephant. They're going to try and do the same as I understand it with the Nicobar pigeon. And the Nicobar pigeon is a glossy, shaggy, feathered, Mm. Um, very beautiful bird about the size of a wood pigeon right. and it's the closest living relative to the dodo now and so I think um, from what I've read they're looking at trying to make that more dodo like right. and that's it's an interesting science idea I'm not quite sure uh, I certainly wouldn't want it to be done and then for these animals to end up in the in a zoo I would if, if they're going to do it um, I would hope that they would be able to put them into a natural environment yeah what, what, what do you argument. think generally, Neil, though, about the, the, this, I mean, the, the bringing back of extinct animals or, or well, close so, to extinct animals? So the dodo is the first animal that we witnessed as being present, humanity witnessed and recorded as being present, and then later on recorded it as being absent. The funny thing is that we've recently had a paper published actually on the taxonomy of the dodo, and in the 200 years between... The, the monograph, the big work on the dodo being written and the dodo disappearing, so 1660s, big monograph mm. was written in the 1840s, by the time that was written, people were actually thinking that the dodo was, was fictional. It was a mythological <laughs> animal like the, you know, that they, they just couldn't have existed. We had material. We had um, the, the, the Oxford, uh, this is a, a cast of the Oxford um, mummified uh, head wow. um, from 1845. Um, it still exists. It's 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 in the. Uh, I, I didn't drop it. It's a, so so, so um, that's an amazing thing that people thought it was a mythical bird. Absolutely. It's a bit now, like like now suddenly. Oh my God! Look, here's a skeleton of a unicorn or something. Yeah, well, yes, except unicorns didn't exist. The yeah. dodo really did. And well, we, got, we, you we, say dodo. that. You say that. Well, you say <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason for bringing it back there is there is a good argument for it. We made it go extinct. We have upset oh, the see. ecosystem yeah. around Mauritius. There is a tree called the Calvaria tree, and dodos ate fruit. Dodos ate the fruit of the Calvaria tree, the, the plants, the, the seeds travelled through a dodo, passed through a dodo, passed out the dodo in its in its uh, droppings, and that's when the, they germinated. Right. There are no young Calvaria trees. So the idea is if you could possibly bring back the dodo, if you could bring back these extinct animals, and there are other you can, arguments... You can repair the animals, ecosystem. You can repair the ecosystem, yeah. absolutely. Well, OK, well, that, that, that's a really interesting argument. Listen, Neil, I'm, I'm going to have to go for, for time uh, alone, but uh, come back on again soon and let's uh, talk yeah. about some other extinct animals or animals they're going to bring back. That was fascinating stuff. Thank you very much for your time.